What's going on guys? Me David here back for another shave and today I got a new arrival from the great state of Texas. Well, I don't know how great the state is. I haven't really been there, but um, funny enough, my dad's side of the family originates from Texas. So I got some Texas in me. I just never really been there. California all the way, baby. But I got this new delivery from Hub City Soap Company, Pipe Dreams. It's a cherry pipe tobacco. I really enjoy the scent. I love all things cherry. I like a nice, smooth, and semi-sweet tobacco. So it, it's a cool scent. I do like it. Now, this is the first uh, release for this soap company. And I got to say, for a first release, I haven't tried the soap yet. This is just first look, something that I really want to pay attention to uh, going forward. It's stuff that I, it's not hard for me to focus on and without having to do a bunch of research. But just looking at this right here. The presentation's a bit sloppy. Um, the, this side label, it's visibly too big for the tub. So all along this area right here, have a little bit of lip for, for, for the for the sticker. It just looks ugly. It's wrinkly. It, it's just a little bit off-putting. Um, and if you, uh, if you have to have the ingredients on there, I'd re really much rather you cut that off here. And stick it to the bottom it's just it's, it's just a real real uh, just ugly sloppy look um i'm gonna take off that sticker i, I it, it it irks me in the grand scheme of things the store the performance um is the most important thing of course um but again you only have one opportunity to make a first impression and it's just kind of a bad uh, first impression um additionally a little bit of a of a misprint not a misprint but a little bit of funniness on my label down here again first release hopefully with uh, future releases that kind of stuff gets cleaned up um but it's not a cheap so um it comes it's a uh, 17.99 for four ounces of soap i think what that uh, comes out to about four and a half uh four and a half dollars four fifty uh, four dollars and fifty cents uh per ounce so it's a little bit on the pricey side um so if i'm gonna spend uh premium dollars and again it's not the six dollars uh, per ounce but it's not cheap you know for, from texas uh come here you from texas this was messed up from my own doing i beat this one up but almost six ounces of soap six ounces of soap for probably about 12 bucks so coming from texas we know that there's resources to it and if you can't get down to that price i totally understand it um, but again, I'll go ahead and I will pay money, uh, higher price money for soaps. Um, but you kind of have to, it, you got to make sure you really care about what you're doing. And just, uh, especially for that first release, um, I just think it shows a little bit of lack of care. Uh, some of these little issues, they may be ticky tack, but, um, you know, it's just, there were stuff that I didn't have to scrutinize very much to notice. Um, and these and my soaps and everything they are displayed around in, in my restroom So if things look a little funky, I don't like it. it it's something that'll catch my attention consistently, so um, That's the kind of stuff. I do try to avoid but we're gonna go ahead and get into it I just jumped in here pretty quick trying to get this in tonight. I just watched the Raiders uh, first round draft And it was a travesty. I'm heartbroken here. I'm distraught um and I'm sorry, Hub City Soaps, if you, if you kind of had to take the brunt of that. Uh, the Raiders upset me so much that um, maybe you had to deal with my attitude a little bit. I apologize. Again, the real magic happens is when, when we load this up. So we are going to go ahead and load that up right now. I like the scent. Uh, the, this, this cherry pipe, uh, pipe tobacco was very popular about two years ago. Um, a lot of soap companies had, had it. I've never owned one, so I'm actually happy to have one. Again, performance is king. So as long as it performs well, great. But I just think, you know, if like piss some people off when I was uh, doing my YouTube video about the straight razor shaving, um, I said that we should, if we're going to do something, we should try, we should really make an effort to be as good as possible at, at it as we can. And, you know, I have to not only, if I'm going to hold the YouTubers accountable for something like that, at least in my opinion, um, when I'm watching, I have an opinion, I have my own channel, and I can have whatever the fuck opinion I want. 
um, I should be consistent in that. And uh, I think the presentation of our soaps uh, should matter. It really, really should. So, yeah, I would have just preferred to have, have the soap without that side label. It just, it didn't fit at all. It wasn't cut to size right. And then it was put on wrinkly. It was just, uh, I wasn't too thrilled by it. So, I have plenty of soap loaded up. I'm going to go rinse off the side of this because there's a lot. If you like that old uh, PAA Cavendish, uh, it'll have that Cavendish uh, smell. But again, with the added cherry to it. So, and I've always been a fan of Cavendish. I have two uh, tins of the original Cavendish from PAA back when I was how to grow a mustache. And in that, uh, that amber color type soap. So a bunch of people have been doing videos with this. I do expect it to be good. I've seen a few videos of it already. Which is always a good thing. It's a nice dense lather. You know that that industry standard. You know we're, we're we're coming to expect now. Not a whole lot of volume, but you have a nice, rich look. It's a lather that shimmers. It just glistens. You see, it, it has a nice shine to it. Again, I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but it, it is real nice. Good to go. I think it. Can I take a little bit more water. Good. Okay. All in all, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Get right into it. Today I'm going to be using the car, the Christopher Bradley Carve Razor. This is not going to be my real assessment of this razor. Um, there was a little bit of a mix-up, and this is a base plate that I did not want. I do predict that this is going to be a bit too mild for me. Um, so I'm not going to completely judge uh, the Carve Razor by this shave. I just have it, and so I just kind of want to get it in. Yeah, super, super mild. It's cutting though. It's cutting, cutting. I had enough hair that it really changed my whole complexion. So it's definitely cutting the hair cool. I have a, a, pulse, a fresh pole silver in this. Remember guys, when you're using a milder razor, to still do not push down. You can give yourself plenty of irritation with a mild razor if you're forcing the pressure. Let the blade do the work, and who cares if you don't get a BBS shave after that first pass. It's all about beard reduction. You want to gradually get the hair down and not try for completely smooth after one pass. Super smooth, but of course, um, you can still see some pretty darkness on, some darkness on my complexion there. And it's not just for my skin color. And then there's still plenty of hair though. But smooth. That was a smooth, smooth shave. I really like the style of lather. It's good. The sheen on it is just real, real nice, man. It looks nice and hydrated. I can still hear the feedback, so that's good. It's a new razor, so learning how to use it. And again, so mild. Sometimes on these extra mild ones, 
you, you could have a little bit of trouble finding the blade angle. But all this is, is Yeah, I've given myself some rough shaves with mild razors and it'd be my own fault. Because I don't feel the blade much on my skin, I'm pushing down too much. I can't do that. <laughs> Very nice. So, it's getting to that time of the year where it is spicy in here. And if you don't know what that means, it, it's hot. I'm already sweating. It was a... Uh... How hot was it today, babe? Um, it was uh, low 90s. Low 90s already here. It's supposed to be hotter tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess it's good that I got this shave in today because it's literally is supposed to be hotter tomorrow. So I guess that's good, but Jesus. Yeah, so it's going to start getting to that time of the season where you guys are going to see me sweat like a pig during these videos. If it gets too, too bad, man, I might have to throw a fan in here. I just don't know how obnoxious that'll be in terms of the sound in here. Like at 2 in the morning. Nah, I can't even save at 2 in the morning because it just retains the heat. It's yeah. still warm in here at that time. Alright. Shave under the moonlight. Shave under the, uh, shave under the moonlight? I'm down. Yeah, so it's hot in here. So with a little bit of effort, I'm probably gonna be making these videos a little bit quicker. Usually my videos, standard length is gonna be about 20 minutes. If I could get that done faster, I probably will. But it gets difficult, cause you know, those of us that have been doing these videos for a while, we talk a lot. Especially when you're comfortable with your gear, oh, you have a tendency to go, cool. you know, you talk a lot and don't focus much on technique or what exactly you're doing because you're talking and you just kind of go on autopilot in terms of the actual shave. That's why I would encourage guys, if you're a newer YouTuber, uh, do some shaves off camera, man. Uh, there comes a point where you do these so often on camera. Especially if you're doing every single shave on camera, uh, you forget to appreciate some of the nuances of the of the shave. Shit, I'm feeling a little bit of tingling in here, and I, it's not the razor because I'm actually making a conscious effort to to be light touch. I think it might be the, the scent. Maybe the fragrance. I doubt it's any of the soap base ingredients. It may be the fragrance oil. Oh wait. I have look at I'm over here getting distracted by that. I went the wrong way on my neck. So right off the bat, I like this razor. I do like this razor. This is a little too mild for my liking, but I do have the deep plate uh, razor coming my way. I think that's gonna fit a little bit more my style. Uh, but this is nice. Yeah, right here on my cheek. So I know it's not no damn uh, razor burn irritation because I never get right here. I'm feeling a little bit of tingling. So unfortunately, this this particular soap probably won't fit me. Um, this wasn't my first choice. The other ones were sold out. Um, but yeah, this right here. I feel tingling right in the same exact area on both sides right here. I'm a little too dark for there to appear redness. Hopefully it's not too much redness. Um, but we'll see right now. I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it, rinse off, and then let's kind of see. Because um, in terms of the, the slickness, the lather, everything was fantastic with the soap. Um, I just think I might be having a reaction to this, to the fragrance oil in it right here. So let me rinse off and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm rinsed off. So 
I think I see a little pinkishness right here. Can't really tell on this side. The light's not as good hitting me on this side, so because the light is over in this direction. I feel a little pinkness here. Again, I don't know if it's coming on the camera or not. Oh, well, shit, on the camera it looks like all this is red, but no. When I'm looking in the mirror, it's not. <laughs> but, hmm. But, hey, bottom line, uh, the soap performed great. Very rarely do I ever have any reaction to scent. The last, um... Uh, the last soap I had a reaction to was one of G uh, Ginger's Garden one. Uh, funny enough, it did have, I think, some tobacco in it. <sighs> um, so maybe it could be something with tobacco that could be causing a little bit of irritation on me. Um, Mobster uh, from uh, uh, Ariana and Edwards of the Club. It has tobacco and I get no type of reaction to it. So I don't know. Maybe if the scent is primarily tobacco, it gives me an issue. Um... But we'll see. I'm definitely going to try this soap again because the soap base is definitely worth uh, using again. If it continues to give me some irritation, I'll probably give this away to somebody else and then possibly get one of their other offerings. I know they have some uh, dupe scents from colognes. I think one of them was Spice Bomb, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but poss possibly. Um, but when they get them back in stock, maybe I'll try a different scent. I'll pick one up. <sighs> um, but yeah, my, my biggest complaint, and again, the irritation to the skin... Uh, there's nothing that uh, Hub City Soap Company could do. I think it's uh, David Lopez Sepero. Uh, Sepero, I think. Uh, uh, the, the base is fantastic. I love the base as is. Uh, I do believe that, that the little bit of uh, burning here and here is going to be from uh, the, the fragrance oil. Um, but I love the base, so I'll definitely be going back to it again. Uh, but again my one complaint would be... Uh, care a little bit more about the presentation make sure your labels are tight make sure the labels are on smooth and make sure they're appropriately fitting um that's just my recommendation for you that's a new company take it or leave it you can fucking hate me about it um who knows maybe i'll offend somebody by it and they'll send me a, a strongly worded message um on the comments below in my dms or maybe make a video god knows who knows you never know how people are going to react but i hope i didn't offend you um that's my honest to god opinion that i hope uh that you know you could listen to it or not it's totally up to you um you got a solid ass base it's a good base there's no denying it so i look forward to what else you do going forward um i will definitely uh, patronize your business again and you know i just i really hope the best for you man so um that's it for me guys Last time, one last time, Hub City Soap Company, Pipe Dreams, uh, ch uh, Cherry uh, Pipe Tobacco, and yeah, and, and then don't worry, you guys are going to get a full assessment when the, 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 with, uh, when the other uh, package from Carve comes, and I'm going to tell you the whole rundown of my experience with Carve, um, I think you guys are going to be uh, pretty happy uh, with the results and all that, and again, even with this being a mild plate that I predicted was going to be a little too mild for my taste, gave me a good shape uh so i can only complain so much um i think i got a d and a c plate coming in <coughs> so the c might even be good enough but uh the d one is the one that i really think is gonna fit my preference but we, we shall see so if you guys have got to this point of the video no i really appreciate you guys stay safe stay healthy and i'll catch you on the next shave